Well, hello and welcome to GetChemistryHelp.com. My name is Dr. Kent, and in this video, we're going to work some practice problems dealing with scientific notation. Now, if you haven't watched the lesson yet on scientific notation, you may want to check that out first. Otherwise, let's go right ahead and jump in. So these first sets of problems say to convert the following numbers into scientific notation. So all of these first few numbers are in what's called standard notation or decimal notation. Okay, so we saw in our lesson that step one is to pull out whichever digits are significant. So 192 gigaseconds. Well, there's no leading zeros, there's no trailing zeros, so all of these digits are significant. So I'm gonna go ahead and write one, nine, two. Okay, so we said in those rules that we wanna put the decimal after the first significant digit. So I put it right there. Then we're gonna figure out, okay, how many times did I move the decimal to get it here? So the decimal is not shown, but of course we know that it's after the ones place. So it moved one, two times to get it there. So in that case, since we're moving to the left, we make it a positive number. So 10 to the positive two gigaseconds. Because again, if you were to take 1.92 and multiply it by 10 two times, you would get 192. So there we go, must be right. Okay, how about number two? So which of these digits are significant? Well again, leading zeros are never significant, so I'm gonna ignore those. So the four, the seven, and the eight are significant. Now I'm gonna move that decimal from here and put it right after the first one. So one, two, three. So times 10, three, but remember, we're going to the right now. So if we go to the right, it's a negative three femtometers. Okay, so if I took 4.78, Remember the negative three tells me I'm actually dividing by this number. So I'm dividing by 10 three times. Well, if I did that, I would get 0 .00478. How about 50,800 quarts? Okay, so the five, the zero, and the eight are definitely significant. How about the trailing zeros? Well, again, trailing zeros are only significant if there is a decimal and there isn't. So these zeros are not significant. So only the five, the zero, and the eight. Okay, the decimal has to go after this very first one here. So I've got to move it one, two, three, four times. So 5.08 times 10 to the fourth quarts. And again, 5.08 times 10, if I multiply it by 10 four times, that would in fact do it because I'd be times 10, then 100, then 1,000, then 10,000. Okay, let's do a few more. 390.0200 Kelvin. Okay, first step, which of these digits are significant? Well, they're all significant because even the end zeros are significant because of this decimal. So I'm gonna write them all, three, nine, zero, zero, two, zero, zero. Now the decimal has to move one, two places to get it right after that first one. So I moved it twice, so times 10 to the second Kelvins. And again, notice all these digits are significant, right? So there were seven significant figures here. So there still has to be seven significant figures here. It can't change between standard and scientific notation. Have to keep all the same significant figures. How about this one, 0 0.08200. Okay, well the leading zeros aren't significant. The trailing ones here are because of that decimal. So I've got four significant figures here, 8200. So I'm gonna write 8200. And the decimal has to move one, two places to get it after that first one. But now I moved it to the right, so it's two places, but to the right means negative two, and then it's micrometers or micrometers. So this has four significant figures, right? And this still has four significant figures. How about 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit? Okay, well the four is significant, but these trailing zeros are not because there's no decimal. So only the four, and then I'm moving the decimal from its understood or assumed place over to here. So that moved it three times. So four times 10 to the third degrees Fahrenheit. And you put the decimal if you want to here, but there's no real reason to because there's nothing after that decimal point in this one. Okay, so now let's try a few going the other way. So these are in scientific notation, and we're gonna convert them back into standard notation. So I've got 5.80 times 10 to the negative second feet. So the five, the eight, and the zero are all significant. So five, eight, zero. And now the negative two, so that means I'm dividing by 10 
twice. So if you divide by it, it's got to become smaller. So it's going to go two places to the left. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in zeros around it. So it would be 0 0.0580 feet. And again, just notice this zero has to remain because it's after a decimal, so it is significant. So this has three significant figures, and this has three significant figures. How about 9.0 times 10 to the negative fourth picoliters? Okay, so I write the 9 and the 0, and now we're moving it four times to the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So put my decimal, and I fill in all these gaps with zeros. And I'll go ahead and put 1 to the left of the decimal just for clarity, so picoliters. Okay, so how about 7.495 times 10 to the 6 gallons? So 7, 4, 9, 5 are the significant digits. Now I'm going to move that decimal 6 places to the right because I'm basically multiplying it by 10 6 times. So let's put in the zeros here. Okay, now notice why didn't I put the decimal in here for this case? How many significant figures would I have had if I had shown that decimal? If I had put it in here with the decimal, well that would have meant all of these zeros are suddenly significant, right? So that would have been 7 sig figs. But the original number only had 4, so the new number can only have 4. So this one up here has 4. So it is true in a sense the decimal moved to the right, but again, I want to leave it as an understood decimal. If I actually add in the decimal, then I get seven significant figures, which can't be right. Okay, a few more. 4.1070 times 10 to the second. So 41070, those are all the significant digits. I'm going to move that decimal two places to the right. So from here, two places. So boom, boom, like that and the units are hours. So this has five significant figures, and this still has five significant figures. Okay, 1.02 times 10 to the negative six teraseconds. So 102. Now negative means it's a small number. I'm dividing by 10 six times. So we're gonna move it six times to the right. Okay, and I'll fill in all of these with zeros. So 0 0.0000002 teraseconds. And the last one, 8.28 times 10 to the 1 inches. So 828, the 10 to the 1 tells me I'm multiplying it by 10 one time. So it's going to get bigger, so I'm going to move it to the right, right there. So 82.8 inches. Well, hope you enjoyed this video on scientific notation practice problems. As always, there are more video lessons, worksheets, and practice problems available at GetChemistryHelp.com. Of course, you can leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much, and we'll see you back here next time at GetChemistryHelp.com.